Hi, welcome back to the series of CICD pipelines with GitHub Actions using MuleSoft. <laughs> In this video, we are going to learn how to decrypt properties using the CICD pipelines that we created on the last video. Let's do it. First of all, I already have my application. I did some changes like here. I added the secure property using mulep and then secure colon colon encrypted property. This is the name of the property that I'm going to be using. I created a new file under source main resources um, called secure.properties. And if I go here, I will see my encrypted.property. And as you can see, this value is already encrypted. Also something to keep in mind in your mule artifact.json file, it's important that you set up here the secure.key or the name of your key into the secure properties field. This is so when you deploy to Cloud Hub, this property will be hidden and no one can see it. Otherwise, anyone that accesses Cloud Hub will be able to see your key. Now let's run it to see that it is working. If I go to run and then run configurations, I will be able to set up my key into the arguments tab and I set it up here in the VM arguments part. So my secure key in this case is my MuleSoft key. After that, you can just click on run. So my application is deployed. Let's now test that it works. Same as before, curl localhost 8081 slash test. Let's run this to make sure that it works. And I received the it worked secure property, yay. So now the first thing that we're going to do is to create the secret in GitHub. In AnyPoint Studio, we set up the secure.key, my Milsoft key, from the VM arguments in the run configurations. Remember from the previous video that if we go to GitHub in our repo and then click on the settings tab, we will be able to scroll down, select secrets and variables, and then actions. This will bring up our previous repository secrets, which we already set up as AnyPoint Platform password and AnyPoint Platform username. Let's now create a new one that is going to be called decryption key. And as we had set up in Studio, this key in my case is my Millsoft key. So we're going to add this secret. And that's all for this step. Now, if we go back to our meal project and open the build.yaml that we had created in the previous video, let's scroll down until we see the deploy job. In this case, we have to add the new decryption key here in the environment variables. Remember that we set up our decryption key. So this name has to match with what we put in the command now. So here, right after password, we're going to add a new key. And this is going to be referencing to the secrets that is called the decryption key. Now we are going to add a new parameter here in the maven command. So right after this one, let's add a new decryption key that is going to be referencing to the key variable that we just created right here. Make sure you add a backwards slash right here. Otherwise, this is not going to work. You might be wondering why this is called decryption key and not secure.key. This is because we will be changing this in the pom.xml, as I will show you in a moment. We can now save this file. Now for the next step, let's open the pom.xml and search for Cloud Hub deployment. This is going to be inside the build and then plugins, then plugin. And we will see here the configuration for the Cloud Hub deployment. So here we are going to add a new property. Before the Cloud Hub deployment tag ends, let's go ahead and create here this new property. We have to create first a field called properties and inside it, we are going to be referencing to the secure.key that we will be using inside the Mule application. And now the other value that we are going to be referencing is the decryption.key. So the value that we send here from build.yaml, which is decryption.key, will be taken and will be put inside here. So the secure.key property will contain the value that we have in our GitHub secrets. So if you have a different key instead of secure.key, 
you have to change it here in the palm let me save this file and also in the mule artifact.json here so you can make sure that this key is not visible from cloud hub and same as before as soon as we push this new commit we will be able to see here in the actions tab that this workflow is starting to run if you click on it you will be able to see the details of each job separately so the build was a success after 30 seconds and now this is trying to deploy the application we can already see in runtime manager that the application is being deployed it's updating right now and as soon as this is updated in runtime manager our deploy job will be successful and now that the application has been successfully deployed in runtime manager we can go back to our github actions and we will see that everything is green let's try to call this application just to make sure that it actually works let's send a curl request to our cloud hub url and then slash test and it worked secure property yay <laughs> And that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. In the next video, we are going to see how to incorporate M units into the CI CD pipeline. So keep posted when this video is uploaded. Remember to subscribe to watch all of the other videos. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.